Hello guys, and welcome to another game of League of Legends. Today we're playing Vayne. We're getting hard countered by Lucian, because Lucian wins from Vayne generally, unless your name's Heimgosu. So, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not Heimgosu, so... But, um, we're gonna try and make this work. Our support Ash is doing a pretty good job. Oh, it, she actually has a Doran's Blade, so it's not like she's going full support. There should be an attack damage support item, though. Because attack damage supports work. Like, Jarvan, Pantheon, Darius, they work. Fuck, missed it. Uh, this is so difficult. No, no, please, no. No. I'm just going to let them shove, I think. Oh my god, that lag. Oh well, it's to be expected. I mean, I'm uploading and recording at the same time. And Fraps is not the best of programs, so, yeah. He's handling his mana really well. I see that as a challenge to win, challenge when I'm playing Lucian. Because Lucian is quite mana hungry, especially when you're spamming your abilities, trying to harass early. Although Lucian... It doesn't need to harass early. I guess you could farm for that BF sword and then go hard. I think that that could work. Okay, so we're tied in CS. Well, he's one ahead. There, got juked, bitch. Oh, I got a actually got an auto off. Which is, it's not worth in the long run, because I missed this minion because of it, and really the auto didn't do anything for me. Walk around the pool of all evil. Ah, let's see. Fuck. Could have gotten her though. I'm. Nah, I'm not going in for that. She's Oom though, so we won't have to worry about her anymore. It's just that she does have. still have a health potion. Don't know why she isn't using it. Uh, since we are getting shoved, I think it's not necessary to ward the jungle. Um, so, because we're practically at our turret, and they can't dive in level 3, not with a Lee Sin, maybe with a somewhat tankier jungler they might have been able to, but now I don't see that happening very soon for them, plus it's a Morgana, so she's not gonna do a shit ton of damage, so once her Q's hit, that was pretty much it, until she's level 6, then she has some more dive potential. Are we getting a gank? Yes. Oh my god, the Zed's dominating the lane. Fuck. I... See, the E and then this dash, it was all kind of blurry, and then... <laughs> He just got pushed away instead of into the wall, which was the goal, really. But yeah, I don't know. Lucian, after the, like, E, I, I call it a buff. Okay, Lucian of Flash. 
uh, with the E rework thingy, uh, which the cooldown gets reduced every time he does those shots thingy wingies from his passive, he can basically tumble as much as Vayne, so he's basically a Vayne with more uh, AoE and little, maybe a little less mobility, but his W also gives some movement speed, so I think that would actually make up for the mobility. And then with a little mo more damage, unless it's of course it's a single target, one v one, auto attacking one v one, but it mostly isn't because everyone can use spells. It's not like there are rules not to use spells at certain points. Like oh you're up against the vein, you may not use spells. No, that would be stupid. So and I have sixteen hundred gold, which is a lot. I have a horrible amount of farm. Absolutely disgusting. I I hate myself now. Well, I hate myself for different reasons, but that doesn't really matter now, does it? Got him. I didn't. Th I don't think she had ult yet because then she could have used it to save Hecarim. I don't know though. I mean, I got my ult in the in the fight, so I don't think she had her ult either. There. The thing is, if you're planning on going back, just. Wasting all your mana is probably the good strat, since you're gonna regen it anyway. Plus, that way you shove so that they have a harder time pushing your turret, and you get more gold. I'm not gonna make the gold the CS mark that I always set for myself, which is. Let's just buy that. That seems like a pretty good idea. Because mobility can really help. He doesn't have that same amount of mobility that I have. He has 360, I have 381. And although he has higher base movement speed with 5. But anyway, that's not important. He also has no movement speed in his mastery as well. Still not important. <laughs> I have no defensive masteries, <laughs> so it's just a matter of choice, I think. Matter of preference, it's better to say. Let me see. Preference. I think we, he's camping. I, I, I like that, don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore it. There we go. As easy as that. I think, I feel that if you have this bad of a team score for them, either you're going to make this hard comeback that nobody expected, or you're going to surrender. Both of them are possibilities, though, because they do have some pretty good late game champions. I'm not going to say they have to surrender. Um, <coughs> simply because, you know, this is going to be on YouTube and I don't want to be wrong. So, <laughs> there you go. And here we go, get that. Yay, I got it. My E reduced the damage on her ult because it was only active for like a half second, so that way she couldn't get a return kill. So yeah, that was pretty good. Um, we also got the turret, I didn't even notice that, that was so stupid of me. <laughs> wow, I probably got it, but I don't know, it's, I just did notice that. I guess Leeson went this way, I really think we should help there.
There we go. I'm on a killing spree. There we go. A rampage. Yeah, you should probably run, dude. Just run. Um, I think I can handle the Katarina since I have my E, but he can't. So please just get the F out. You're not gonna. Okay, yeah, with Hackroom's help, he might be able to. Yeah, he won't die to the tick. He doesn't have that much life steal, though, so he should probably back off. And now I have this item thing. I think I've been positioning pretty well since um, I have not died once in a pretty short range, although not too short. It's like 550, so. Um, I have no critical strike chance, which is. I'm gonna get that next, I think. Yeah, because if I'm winning, I'm going for this. If I'm winning really hard, but if I'm just winning, I go for this. If I'm losing, I also go for this, because this is made out of some really small uh, parts. Like a BF sword is not made up out of some other parts, so in Infinity, it's pretty hard to get when you're losing, whereas. Um, a static shift is most definitely not. So that's also why Jinx and Tristrana players uh, that are losing, which is almost impossible as Jinx or Tristrana, but I don't care. Um, <laughs> um, see, all AD carries are powers except for Twitch and Urgot, so I think that you should not be l hard losing. Like, you could you could be 0 to 2, Lucian, no problem. But you're always gonna be something, so you can always get that BF sword right there. There, I got fucked. Yeah, I like break the meta supports because they make supporting so much more fun. Like, normally, support is not that fun of a role to play and break the meta supports really they just bring some something new to the game that that kind of makes it more fun plus you're playing probably a more fun champion than the normal sport are they winning yeah they are okay cool because so i don't want them to be losing for obvious reasons by the way but like <laughs> Oh, the Nidalee heal. Oh, that was so good. Jesus Christ. Like, okay, Nidalee heal's not really difficult to use, but, like, I mostly forget in those situations, so I'm, like, really proud of this Nidalee. Yeah, I, I don't think the enemy team's having that great of a time. We're capitalizing on every single mistake they make, and they... I mean, even if they don't make mistakes, we force them to, so... Uh, let's go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle out. What's she doing? Okay. That was a pretty weird ult. In my opinion, but like, that could just be me. I don't know. Maybe it is. He's gonna kill him or not, depends if this Jax is any good, he probably isn't. Yeah, I don't think my ult was necessary, but I never use my ult, so it's not really a problem if I use it in situations that are not necessary. Also, I just we just booked our vacation to um I'm I'm going in two weeks I'm going to Disneyland in Paris. So excited because I haven't been to Disneyland in like 
what, like a year. <laughs> and that one time that I went, like I've been there like 15 times or something, but like I was there once with school and that was absolutely awful because we uh, made, we missed a turn. So then we, we missed an exit. So we couldn't, like the exit of the road, right? So we couldn't enter the park. So we had to drive all around Paris to then uh, enter the park. And it was actually too, lo too long for me to sit down in a uncomfortable bus chair. So my back got twisted. And every time I took a breath, it just really, really hurt my back. So I did nothing but sit. And that was awful. Absolutely awful. That was really not a fun experience. I don't recommend going to school with your, uh, going to Par Disneyland with school. I mean, unless of course you live in Paris, because then, I mean, it's only two minutes away. But like, well, Paris is a pretty big city. I discovered that when we were driving around it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think this game is pretty much won. It's just a matter of time now, but like, that won't take too long. I have 3200 gold, and it really doesn't matter because I can still 1v1 all of them. I dislike the fact that she just took that kill, but it's not a KS. I mean, she just does so much damage. But yeah, we've won. I think it's GG, so... Oh, God, Nidalee, really? Okay, I'll take him. I'll take him down. I was killing, uh, well, okay, it was a good game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a bit short, but I don't care. It was good, and if you did enjoy, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment. I don't care. It's, well, I do care. Just do anything positive, don't do anything negative, and don't kill yourselves. Bye.